Okay. Let's get at it, y'all. All right, now, I am doing a multi-cam edit in DaVinci Resolve for the first time. I ran into some hiccups, did a little research. Uh, just want to help y'all through it if you do have problems. I mean, if you're new to editing and you're starting with DaVinci, it shouldn't be a problem for you to learn this. But if you like myself and you're coming from Adobe Premiere, it's a little bit different. Um, so... For those of y'all that's just starting out, and uh, you need to make a multi-cam sequence, you're gonna grab all the footage from camera one, two, three, four, how many you have, drag them down. All right, once you drag all the ones down that you need, you're gonna click on it, highlight everything. Right click with your mouse, go to create new multi-clip using uh, selected clips. All right. Once you do that, which I already did, you can hop over to the editing page right here. Um, and then from there, let's go back up here to master. Uh, as you can see, the multicam sequence that I actually made from the clips is here. What I did was take this and drag it down to my timeline, but we're not going to do that now. Uh, it's already down here. All right. So the hiccup that I had starting out, okay, it was on source. You know, in Premiere, you have a similar symbol over here on the right, um, but it's a wrench, and you will go there and then click on and go to Multicam. Here, it's right here in front of you. You just click on Multicam, and you're pretty much ready to go. Now, also, you want to make sure that you pick your best audio or use your clean audio. I mean, you can sync everything up from audio to so six different, seven different, eight different cameras, whatever. Pick your best audio that you know you're going to use, which for me it was angle 22. All right, so I want to continuously use that audio because it's the best clean signal that I have. All right, so with that being said, what you're going to also need to do up here is to make sure that between these buttons you don't click on video and audio because it's going to cut in between your audio, which you don't want to do. You want to just leave the same audio. So I'm only cutting the video. So make sure you highlight this here tab or button. Starting up. Now she asked a question. So I'm going to jump up here for a close up. And I'm going to just go ahead. Once I click on that, it actually makes a cut on the timeline and switch to this. Uh, camera angle all right so pressing spacebar to start now as you look over i might want to go back to camera to my second camera let it ride now if you have three or four cameras you can switch in between them you know for me he's at, he's being asked some questions so when I feel I need to do a close-up, I'll just click on that so you get a little bit more closer, bring you into, you know, what he's actually saying. And then I might zoom back out. All right. So with that being said, it was pretty simple, y'all. It's not it's not too complicated. A um, little bit of a difference, on, you know, doing multicam edits. But I think I'm going to have fun with it. All right. So I got a lot more to learn on DaVinci. I got to finish chopping this video up. So thanks for watching. Again, my name is Andre. And you are watching Video Pro Solutions. Thanks. Feel free to subscribe. If you like what you heard. Like what you see. Let me know. Any other tutorials you may need. Let me know. I'll be doing some tutorials on audio. I'll be doing tutorials on my gimbal, which is the Weeble S. Zion. Uh, I have a Canon C100. I'll also be doing tutorials on it and all the camera gear that I've been using over the past five to ten years. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me know what y'all think. Feel free to subscribe. Leave them likes. Uh, and that's that.